So now today we're going to a friend of mine's place and check out his rig. He has a beautiful Mercedes. Let's go there and check it out. Then please move. Peter, how are you doing? Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Pretty good, thank you. That's the beauty. That's the beast. That's I'm the, the beauty beast. and that's the beast. You're the beauty, that's the beast, okay. <laughs> what is your, your uh, the base truck? The base truck is, uh, used to be a firefighting unit, like a pumper truck from the German Firefighters. Oh, okay. It's a 65, 1965. Built 1965, okay. And what model is that? Uh, the model, you can see it here, it's uh, 1113, which means it's... Uh, 11 ton chassis and 130 11 horsepower. 11 ton and 130 horsepower in the beginning, but this one has already the turbocharged engine, uh -huh. which has 168 horsepower, so a little bit more. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. That thing has a turbocharger? Yes. Wow. We, we can uh, later I open the hood for you. You can look inside. Okay. Uh, right now it's a little difficult. We have, uh, have a cover of the windshield because they are really hard to get. Trucks following you and passing you, they throw rock, like the, th the tires will throw rocks up. And right. That way, same here on the, on the lights. It's yeah. kind of a protection for that. Yeah. Okay. Wow, these tires are huge. What tire size is that? R20, 365. Michelin military type tire. Yeah. Very good for the sand, but I'm um, actually thinking about changing them to a more docile profile, you know. Uh-huh. Okay. Are they available here? Can you buy them here? You can buy them. They're about $1,000 a piece, but you can get them, yeah. Wow, okay. Cool. Are they very noisy? They're kind of noisy. That's why I would like to change them into a street type tire, uh -huh. like the bigger trucks have. Yeah. A construction type thread on it. Uh huh. Okay. Do you want to go around and uh, yeah, show me some things? Yeah. Let's go around. Like cool. Here. So what what are you looking at here? This is the, the yeah. big bag of black, 370 yes. liter. I'm just... Yeah, that's my diesel tank, and it gives me a range of about 1,200 kilometers. Usually a little bit more, depending. If you're in, in the flats or if you go through the mountains, it use a little bit more. And you also can see I have the freewheeling hubs. Uh huh. The freewheeling hubs for this model. That saves you a little bit of fuel. And plus, if you don't need the 4x4 all the time, it's like on your little Toyota, you can just switch it to freewheeling and then the whole. Like it's less noisy and it uses a little less gas. You choose manually four wheel or yes, two wheel. Yeah, yeah, then you still have to engage the four wheel drive, but this way just the wheels just turn, they are not driven. Yeah. Okay. So it saves you a bit on the drivetrain. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So a 370 liter diesel. That's that a, gives you quite a good range. Uh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah. yeah. Uh, here you got the hot water tank. 
It's a good old fashioned, simple, no electronic, uh -huh. hot water tank. This is the outlet for your heater, like the propane heater. Everything is on propane here. Uh huh, okay. Uh, this is the fridge. That's the outlet for the fridge? Yeah. I see, okay. And then you have the sand ladders. If you get stuck, you put those in front of the wheels. Yeah. You need them a lot. And if they bend, you just put them the other way and go over it again, and then they're straight again. <laughs> I see. Okay. But they're not thin, though. They're pretty. Yeah, but they're aluminum. Yeah. And they're fairly light compared to the other ones. And they were used in the Second World War to make makeshift uh, airports. Oh. They, they, they interlock into each other. And then you can make a, a runway out of these. I see. That's what they were are, are, are you saying these are from the Second World War? No. They, or just a, a type like it? That's the same type and they might even be from that area. I don't, I don't remember where I got them from. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're still used to this day, I guess. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So here obviously some tool storage or something? Yeah, it's just some storage. You know. Water proof, some tools and chains. Yeah. I carry chains yeah. with me just in case. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, the, the living quarter, the, the habitat. The, what, what, what's it? What's it made, made out of? It's made out of uh, special plywood, like the marine plywood, the, yeah. wa the waterproof plywood. Okay. And uh, the corners are reinforced with composite. Composite. Yeah. Okay. It's about five centimeters, like two inch altogether. In thickness? In thickness, with okay. insulation in between. Do you know the size of the, your box? Um, the, it's about uh, 12 feet long. 12 feet long, yeah. And then a good 8 foot high and then the uh, the top is... 8 feet on the on the lower part. Another, uh, I have it written down because when I go through tunnels or under bridges I have to know... Yeah, of course. <laughs> so we can look that up quickly. Yeah. Uh, so the, the tallest part is... Uh, the height is 13 feet. 13 feet. Yeah. Okay. Let me step back to see this the thing. The total length is uh, 23 feet. Yeah. Oh, when you open the door, you can see actually the red collar from the firefighters, eh? You can still see that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you want to look, yeah. everything is still sustainable. It's like made out of wood, not out of plastic. <laughs> the wood and leather and uh, you know like the way they were in those days in those old days uh, this yeah. is the air conditioning you know it goes like this uh-huh or like that yeah you and don't need you, you don't air, need, air conditioning you don't need any vault for that no <laughs> good nice yeah let's uh, let's check the driving cap a little later yeah so okay then you exhaust and now the back. I, I see carry it. two extra jerry cans that gives me another 200 clicks. Yeah. Oh, that's a uh, diesel. Yeah, that's diesel. Okay. Also. Yeah. Could be that is a uh, gas or something for a generator or something. Yeah, you could. Mm. Could have extra gas with you for chainsaw. If you carry a chainsaw, which I usually carry. Yeah. But nowadays I carry an electric one. Okay, so the, you got a shovel there and there are the sand ladders. Is that the, the all your uh, recovery equipment? That's, I have a little, uh, like a jack, a, a high lift jack here, if you want to see. Oh yeah, okay. So high lift jack sometimes and I carry a come along and that's about it. This is to lift down the, the heavy the spare wheel. Spare tire, it's kind of really heavy. Yeah, well, what's the approximate weight? Uh, what do you think? Gotta be a couple hundred pounds. Bring it down and mm -hmm. kind of wheel it on the side. It's quite a workout, and then you have to kind of jack it up a tiny bit to get it on there. Yeah, yeah. Have, how often do you have to do that? Not very often. Not very often. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Oh, I see a, a blue light up there. What's that? A yeah, par party light? Oh, that's the old emergency light. I sometimes use it when uh, there's an accident in front of me and ah, to okay. warn other people. And yeah. It's still the the old equipment of the fire truck. Gas, a gas bottle, that's, that's your propane. Uh... Propane, I have three more in here. Oh, you have three more? Yeah, like three smaller ones. So okay. I have plenty of plenty yes. of uh, So gas. you're saying you have, you have cooking, refrigerator, heater, yeah. all and on gas? Hot water, yeah, everything is on gas. Everything on gas, hot water as yeah, well, propane, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's not hybrid uh, gas or power, it's purely gas. 
Well, the fridge is a three-way switch. It's 110, 12, or gas. Yeah, okay. Then you have another storage another box storage there. storage box. Yeah, that was my extension cord if I'm hooked up to 110 somewhere. Yeah. Which rarely happens, but uh, we usually camp out in the forest. Mm -hmm. Freestanding. Freestanding. I see. How's your experience with your with your windows? All of these. Uh... Uh, those those are quite a few years old now. Like nowadays, I would probably use real glass. Like. So why would you flex, use real glass? glass? Because they, if you can see, they scratch up easily. Oh, I see. Yeah, very easily and of, often you go through the bush and then your branches hit you and it scratches it all up and uh -huh. it's just would be nicer to have real glass but they have a tint to it don't they they do yeah oh, i see They're slightly okay. tinted and they have the, the fly screen inside and the uh, is that the other side of the diesel tank no that's a water tank oh that's the water tank and okay I carry about 325 liters of water with me for the shower and the usual cooking stuff so if you're easy on it if you don't take a five minute shower every day it'll last you a week a week yeah a good week 325 liter yeah do you filter that water no so you take it out of the uh we uh, take it out of the tank the way it is uh-huh yeah, i don't have a filter system okay it's more like an old school hippie van yeah and then at the top i see those uh storage boxes yeah those are the Aluminum boxes where we keep all kinds of stuff in there like extra jerry cans for water and uh -huh. This and that a chainsaw like electrical chainsaw Yeah, so the equipment boxes. Yeah equipment box for all odds and ends. That's a really nice looking truck though Thank you and turbocharged can't get over it. That's yeah. awesome <laughs> Okay, let's check out the driving cab What you got is an old-fashioned cockpit. You have your big steering wheel because I unfortunately don't have any power steering, so it's all in your arms. Quite a workout. <laughs> and here you have your turn signals, left, right, and the horn. The horn goes like that. Um, well, hang on. This is your turn signal. This yes. <laughs> okay, we can, I can demonstrate it to you. I have never seen that. That's cool. Yeah. That's, oh, I've, I've never seen a bigger switch than this. Yeah, and then the small horn, and I have the bigger horn here. Oh, That's wow. A, a man's horn. A man's horn. <laughs> cool. right. Okay. And this is the uh, this is the engine brake, so like the, uh, the wastegate. Okay. So that means you don't have any fuel supply, and it gives you brake power. Oh, I see. Downhill, you put that on. Okay, okay. And also shuts your engine down. Right? Oh, that's how you turn it off? Yeah, that's how you shut your engine down. Oh, I see, okay. And here you have your gear shifter. It has uh, five gears forwards and one reverse. Uh -huh. And here's your PTO. It has a PTO if you, in case you want to put a winch on. And here you have your off-road and road. I see, lever. okay. So. That's about it, and he, you can have cruise control here, all manual. Oh, this is how you, ah, I see. That's a cruise the, control. So you can, you can, you can uh, increase set, the idle. Yeah, you can set your idle on this one. So I on, see. A, on a long trip, I just idle it here, and then I take my foot off the gas pedal. It's kind of relaxing. And then if you I see. switch it back. Uh -huh. And up here, we have a few instruments. I do have a CB radio sometimes when we go on the logging roads uh, to avoid logging truck traffic you have to be in contact with the guys uh -huh. that, that uh, use the logging roads which are uh, very helpful and here we just have a normal radio uh -huh. uh, okay. old cd player and that's about it couple okay. of lights what are all these switches there yeah these are from the previous owner he had all kinds of switches that i have uh, installed back to the original Mercedes electric plan. Oh, you say previous owner, so you, you did not build this truck yourself? No, I didn't build it myself. I did all kinds of improvements and repairs to it, but it actually came 
from a German guy that crossed, uh, crisscross Africa uh -huh. with it for about, it has now 195,000 roughly on it. And he did about 100 and 170,000 when I took it over. He sadly passed away in the States when they had just shipped the truck over from Africa and I kind of inherited it from the widow oh. and kind of keep his memory alive. That's why we like this truck and we wow. keep it running. Okay, so this is all... Not, it's all solid metal. Yeah, not like plastic? No plastic at all. You can see the, the door trims and everything is still wood, recyclable. It's okay. like a boat inside. <laughs> yeah, it's a wooden ceiling. Yeah, nice. So how fast is this truck going? Uh, it goes uh, about 95 to 100, that's about it. But you're never in a rush. Yeah. So if you, uh, if you want to read a book from Stelna Dolny, The Discovery of Slowliness, that's what it is. <laughs> okay, a book recommendation. Yeah, this, uh, this uh, mesh doesn't even obstruct your view, not at all. No, like we had to put it on because these windshields are very rare and hard to get nowadays and uh, so it protects your windshield a little bit you can yeah. see it like i had already one impact yeah and a few little nicks so i don't want it to go any further than that and it and it doesn't affect my wipers or nothing else and it's easy to take off it's very light and it uh, gives you quite a bit of protection what is uh what is that handle doing here that's an emergency brake it uh goes onto the rear wheels and spreads the brake pads into the into the drums. Oh. And by the way, my brake system is hydraulic with uh, air air assisted. Ah. So it okay. got an air booster to So you don't need an air ticket for this truck. Oh, so you basically can drive it on a regular license. On a regular license, yes. Wow. That's a good thing about it and it I just had it weight on a scale I was surprised it only comes in in 1519 pounds fully loaded with all my water and full tanks so it's under 7.5 tons wow 7.2 tons yeah that's very light you know for a truck size like that that's yeah you light. could still pack a lot of stuff in there if you really wanted to how is uh, how is heating and cooling working in this uh, uh heating and cooling is it's just a, a water heat exchanger in, in in the front. When we open the front hood, you, I can show you the heater system. Uh -huh. uh, it works off the radiator, of course. You know? Yeah. Everything's very simple. Just uh, levers and no electronics. And then in the back, there's more seats. No, there's no there's seats. No seats oh. Just my camping chairs, table. I see there, yeah. <laughs> You want to check out the inside from the habitat? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Okay, let's uh, look inside. Ladies first. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a pass through. It's a little bit small, but it does a trick. Yeah. So to the cab in case you have to leave in a panic. Always good to have, and then you don't have to go to the outside where the wild animals are. How how many how, how many guys are you when you when you're traveling? Just me and the wife. Oh, I see. Just the two of us. No dog, no cat. No dog. The dogs stay at home. Okay. And watch the farm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they're a little little big for that. They're Pyrenees mountain dogs, so they're quite. Uh, oh wow. They're this tall. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a little big then. Okay, you sleep up there. So yeah, we sleep up here, and then what's we, the what's the bed size there? Uh, it's about two meters by um, uh, what you call it, king size or whatever. It's not super huge, but it comfortably sleeps two people. If you love the other partner, then it's good. You, you have both sides windows in there, so that probably gives you a good draft at night. Yes, you know, so really nice. Uh, it heats up a bit in the summer, but it's still within limits. Yeah, but we have opened the windows here now, and there's a really nice draft coming yeah, through. Nice breeze it's, coming. It's yeah. You have the uh, the screen for the, uh, the blackout the, screen. Yeah. And the screen for the the mosquito screen, which is kind of handy as well. So, yeah, we have uh, just the, the sink. The kitchen. Yeah. The sink and mm -hmm. the stove. 
You got a three burner stove? A three burner stove, which is enough. Some people carry a bacon oven, but you never had the need for it. And a lot of lot of storage up here in these cabinets, all around and here for the the cutlery from outside itself. Mm -hmm. You have this bungee cord on there. Yeah. Keeps it in place. You have to push so, locks. Yeah. Yeah, right. They hold it by themselves. Then. Yeah, yeah, they hold by themselves. They have a skylight. Nice feature above the kitchen. Yes, it gives you some light and also some venting. Exactly. And you have the same thing here with a magnet, the uh, mosquito screen and the blackout screen. So you can whatever you want to see. So usually we put all the blackouts when we're somewhere in the forest. We don't want to want to stay low key. My, uh, my bathroom. So have a look. Look Shower at that. Yeah, mirror. Storage. Another. Oh, you got another uh, skylight, another skylight in here. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Window. And shower. Shower pan. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. All you need. But you know what I don't see is a is a, a a toilet in here. Oh, you went right by that one on the outside. I show you. Okay. Then here to the right we have the refrigerator. We have the fridge. It's a. Uh, I think it's. It's a Dometic. It's not super big, but you know, you can comfortably store stuff for right. a week. And it's a three-way switch, 12 volt, propane, and 110. So you say 110? Are you able to we generate 110 volt here? Yes, I have a, a small converter, but only to uh, to load the cell phones and the internet. Where where do you have them? The Under computer. the table. It's a really small converter. There, it's just to load. Oh, that one. Yeah. 400 watts. Yeah, and that's. It's I not see. much like. Do you have the electric in here? Yes, I have the I electric. See. Okay. Electric in here. This is the magic box we call it. <laughs> All kinds of stuff in there. Oh wow! You got batteries in there. Yeah, I have the deep cycle batteries for the solar power. I got two solar panels on the roof and the converter here, the uh, regulator for the solar power. And 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 how big are these solar panels on the roof? Uh, we got two solar panels. Each of them is 100 WP, so all together 200 WP. Okay. Um, well, toilet. Okay, have a look. That's uh, this door, but I show you from the outside, it's easier to see. Okay. Okay, this is my toilet, my Scheisenhausen or the Banyo. <laughs> State of the art composting toilet. Like I say, it separates your liquids from the solids. And you use a little bit of uh, the good old sawdust shavings uh -huh. when you're done with your business and it doesn't smell at all. It doesn't smell at all? No, it doesn't smell at all. And the, while you're at business, you have a little fan that takes your fumes out. Oh, I see. To the outside. It goes in, that's about right, it. right in between yeah. the cabin. I wouldn't want to miss it anymore. It's very, very nice. Uh -huh. Nice. And the, the, the number one uh, container, how many liters is in there? Oh, that's uh, a good 12 liters. So 12 liters? Yeah. How often do you have to empty that one? Uh, every few days, every three days. Ah, okay. Depending on how much beer you had the night before. <laughs> <laughs> of course. But you're using it basically, the access is from the inside. From the inside. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just, just to show. Yeah. Oh, that's why the that's my camouflage curtain. <laughs> a privacy window. Yeah. I see. Okay. And this engine is uh, very maintenance uh, friendly? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's an inline six, six cylinder turbo diesel. I'm going to show you. I open the hood. How big is the engine? 6.7 no. liters. 6.7. Yeah. I see. This model had the big turbo like in the later years they had a very small turbo like and as you can see on this side. The engine is in there and easy to get at, easy to work on from underneath, lots of room. Yeah. It's got uh, 12 liters of engine oil in it, which usually takes quite a bit to warm up in the mornings. Mm -hmm. And the air filter is with a oil reservoir, so it takes all the dust in here and then brings it clean to the turbo. Yeah, you was mentioned that, um, but I forgot what it what it was. Uh, it, what what does it call? Oh, they call it in German a Kurzhauber, and it's uh, over Kurzhauber. here. They, over here, they call it a snub nose, and I, <laughs> I show you where they call it. That's why it looks like a short nose. Ah, okay. 
That makes sense. Yeah. Have you been traveling this year already? Yes. Yeah? We were all the way to Alberta to Drumheller, which is about 1,200 clicks from here. We had no problems whatsoever. The longest trip with this truck was to Taktiaktak. Taktiaktak? On the Dempster Highway. That, how far is that? That's, that's thousands of oh, kilometers. That's uh, quite, a, quite a distance. As far as you basically can go. All right. Thank you very much, Peter. You're welcome. Oh.